Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on where you are in the world. This is Eels Gaming. I'm, of course, Azeel, and this is how to make platinum. So, as we know in the game of the Warframes, uh, you have currencies. You've got different currencies for the game. Uh, as you can see in the top right hand corner, you've got platinum count, you've got a credit count, and then um, you've got other counts like ducats and things that you can use for Barakatia. Um, Kuva is another resource which is kind of like a currency which you can use for your ribbons and then you've got Endo which is another kind of currency which you use to rank up your mods so you actually use to rank them up now everything is obtainable for free in this game including the premium currency which is the currency that you use to <coughs> You can use it to buy frames um, in whole. You can buy them to use weapons. You can buy the. You can use it to buy slots for your to get more warframes and to get more weapons. You can use it for the cosmetics, and platinum is something that you can buy with real money currency, which is why it's the premium uh, premium currency of the game. Now, when I say it's obtainable for free, what I mean by this is it's actually possible to not farm it but it is possible to acquire it from other players because it's part of the ecosystem you can trade the platinum so what it means is you can take pretty much anything in this game and i mean literally every, every, everything except for normal frames um like the blueprints for normal frames and certain resources like you can't trade circuits say you can't trade the alloy plate here you can't trade the nitane but what you can trade is you could trade the banshee prime blueprint because the the, the neuroptics or the the things because they are prime so they are tradable the normal things like your where's one i've got say like the melee for the war this this is a normal blueprint this can't be traded so what that means is you can farm out these things and you can essentially find them and you can you can trade them off uh, mods are tradable, so all of these ribbons. The ribbon market is a bit harder um, to navigate because the stats that you get on them are much, much more subjectable and much more... They're down to the person. They're down to what that person wants as of what it's actually worth. So it's, it's got a much more fluid kind of structure to the economy. Your prime mods are another great way, uh, again, from Barakatira, as mentioned earlier, if you take your ducats, you can then buy these these prime mods. They generally go for about 50 plat unranked, and for a maximum rank one, you're looking at around anywhere between 300 to 350 plat. However, it is a million credits to trade for one of these, so if you own one and you trade it to somebody else, it doesn't cost you anything, but it will cost the person receiving the mod 1 million credits. So it's got a credit tax on it. It generally, if you buy one and you want to rank it up, so if you buy, say, this one, it will cost you a fair amount to rank. So it will go start at um, 40, pla uh, 40 endo and 1,932 1, credits all the way up to a max rank of 40,000 endo and 1.9 million credits. So obviously buying one is much cheaper on endo because it doesn't cost you any endo and it is much, much cheaper. It saves you about a million credits to trade for a fully ranked one, but it will cost you 350-ish plat, depending on what the mod is. Some of the mods are more desirable than others and it obviously depends on how long it's been since Barrow's actually bought one because the longer it's been, the more the price goes up and that's something to take into account. Um, that's kind of how the prices work. The best way of checking it is to go to warframemarket.net, I think it is. Or it's warframe.market. It might be warframe.market. Um, either way, I'll get the link and I'll put it in the description down below along with others. And that is a great way of being able to check and find out prices. So you can type in pretty much anything you want to sell and it will come up with how much it's worth. Um, generally... Certain parts when you're trading your primed parts, so like these here, uh, certain parts are worth more than others. That's because of their rarity from their drop. So generally the rarer the part to acquire, the more the plat goes up. For example, Ember, which has just come out the Vault Blesser. Uh, Ember's blueprint is 
a gold part and so that is the part that is worth the most whereas these are all bronze and silvers um so what i generally do what i tend to do when i try and make platinum and, and sell things in the game i will sell as sets only because it's easier it's easier to just find what the set's worth you've got your overall uh, value then now the warframe market is dictated by the users it's a free market so if lots of users start saying well this is now not worth that much the price will come down um they can range anywhere uh, but generally what the best thing to do to see when you're selling at least is to find like the middle ground and then go a little bit underneath it so it's it's cheaper than the average which is means that you'll get a quick sale or the other thing you can do is you can go towards the top end and you can say right i'm not selling this for less than this amount it will take you longer um, but you should eventually, if it's a, if it's not crazy, at least you should be able to get the higher end of the average. It's a waiting game. Um, certain things that are vaulted are often worth more as well. So like your low key is vaulted. For a full set of low key, it is around 400 plat at the minute. Um, I actually don't have a full set, which makes me sad. Whereas Mag, who has just gone back into the vault, even though they're both vaulted and not available anymore because Mag has recently come out of the vault, she's not worth quite as much. She's only worth about 100 plat. So that's kind of what dictates the prices. The other thing is when they're brand new spanking Warframes. So Mesa Prime, for example, brand new, um, hot off the press, very desirable Warframe. She's still going for around the 140, 150 mark. Um, Warframes at the minute tend to be taking the kind of curve of two golds one silver one bronze um the mesa systems and the mesa neuroptics are both gold parts on this one um but then older ones have been one gold two silver and a bronze no one gold one silver two bronze yeah uh, <laughs> so it, it depends on the the warframe as to what sort of you get in um and some of them like Vorban, wherever he's gone, Vorban. I've only got two parts for him, uh, three parts for him, but all of his parts are gold. And his attributes or, or the the resource cost is quite high as well, which can slow the value of the Warframe going up, even when they have gone back into the vault. So he's been a very slow climb in value, but he is starting to get up there now. He's around 200. Um... Others have done some really weird things with, like Vault. Uh, you can now acquire his relics from Barrow when he brings them, but nobody knows when he's going to bring them. So he's quite high as well because he's quite a desirable frame. But yeah, so you can get him and Odinata as well as Aklex and um, Akvasto from Barrow relics. Like he has had those relics in stock. So yeah, you generally do your relic missions. You will then um, get your sets. You'll get duplicates. You can either trade them in for ducats, where you can go here. So you go to your star map, you've got relays. So you've got the strata relay, you've got the, uh, blah, 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 where's it gone? On Saturn somewhere, the chronum relay, where have you gone? I'm blind. It is on Saturn. There is one on Saturn, I'm sure there is. We went there the other day. There is, Cronia. I'm blind. So you've got the Cronia relay, and you've got the Mercury relay as well, which is here, Loranda. And you've got Pluto, which is where he's actually coming next. And you can tell he's coming next because this little symbol here. And this symbol is that Barrow is on his way to the Orcus Relay. You go to your relay. And when you've loaded in, you can go to your ducat counter. And what you can do here is when you go to the counter... You can trade in your prime pieces for ducats, which is the other currency I mentioned. Why would you do this, you ask, when you could get, um, you could sell them for plat? The very simple reason is that by doing this, um, you can gain either the prime mods. He also brings weapons, special weapons, and some of those are tradable as well. And some of those are very desirable, like the Super Vandal is another good one. And they're usually around 100 plat. So there's many different ways that you can acquire things. Um, you don't really want to be trading in your vaulted stuff if you can help it. I generally go for a set amount of things which I class as prime junk. So things like my Bronco. 
Um, I don't really need the Bronco. It doesn't have a great amount of plat value, so I get rid of them for ducats. Uh, other things like the Bratton. Again, doesn't have a great trade value, so I get rid of it. Uh, Burston. And generally, these don't have a great plat value because they are always available in-game. Um, you can always acquire them. They never go out into the vault. So as a result, they are always good to farm out and take if there's you know prime junk take it you can also sell these for plat as well if i do sell them plat for plat i generally sell them for one or two plat per piece um so it, it everything's got a value everything has got a value in game as you can see i've sold a few bits here i've got a thousand ducats sat here already um there's also the lex even though the, the Aklex is very desirable, um, the Lex itself isn't. Because, again, it's it's available from pretty much anything. Um, and, yeah. So, that, I hope, has helped you understand that there are everything has a value. You don't need to put money into a game like Warframe to be able to get it for the very simple reason that the plat is tradable. And it is one of the things that sets Warframe apart from every other free-to-play in that you can acquire the, the real money currency very easily um, through a little bit of farming, a little bit of time and a little bit of effort. Um, you don't have to sit and go, oh God, I have to grind for 20 billion hours just to be able to earn a little bit of plat. It's easier to buy it. You can grind for as little as 20 hours, do a little bit and lo and behold, you have platinum that you can use for weapons, slots, whatever you want. Um, and it can be anything, literally anything. You've got your mods, like literally all of your mods are tradable. It's not just the really desirable ones. You can go through your stances are generally a good one to get rid of. Most of them go for about five to 10 plats. Some of them like uh, Bullet Dance at the minute. Bullet Dance is quite high since the release of Redeemer Prime. Um, that's going for around 70-ish plat at the minute. Obviously these values will trade uh, change, especially if you've not come across this video until now. But this is just an average of what they are at the minute. So you can you can generally go and you can get mods this way. Uh, they all have a drop point. You can check in the wiki. Again, I will link to the wiki or you can check the codex as well. Um, and this will give you a basis because some of the mods, if I go by duplicates, you can get a lot of. If you sell them all for one or two or, you know, a couple of plat here or there. Some of the gold mods you can sell for five to ten. Five to ten plat, I've got eleven there sell all them off that's a fair amount of platinum right there um you know you you've got so many that you can just go i want to get rid of i've got 248 thumpers if i was sell them just because of the endo cost alone for one plat each that's 248 platinum whether i'm able to sell 248 thumpers is besides the point but it shows you that with just the amount of mods that you can acquire even selling at low low plat prices you will end up with a lot of plat so again, I hope this has helped guys. I hope that you find this video useful and um, feel free to like, comment and subscribe underneath if you think I've missed anything, any videos that you would like to see in the future um, or just general, you know, feel good moments, positive vibes and all that. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching guys and I shall see you all next time. Much love. Ciao, ciao.